Hello guys, this is JD from Breast Media and today I am going to continue the last episode of Android Prototype Government Tutorial. In the last episode, we have completed the uh, title bar along with search icon, cart icon, image slider, then after we have created popular category and product list so here you can see the preview of last episode mm. all right now we are going to start the product list coding today so let's start so first of all I am going to add a new folder and name it products then create a file inside the product folder product dot dot so let's see start with the importing the material dot file I'm going to use the stateful we get here and name the class products then I'm going to declare the variable product list which will be array list of product item uh, let me add the array of some products so the name is camera then image is uh, let me check the images of product ok uh, the image path is assets slash products camera one dot jpg and comma and the final one is price so let's keep it 100 and now i can copy it for multiple products the next one is home appliances and change the image to home appliances uh, not appliances appliance one dot jpg and let's change the product i'm not checking any image i'm randomly using them so the next uh, item is uh, uh, sunglass and glass dot jpg uh, let's change the price again another one that is men's fashion and men fashion one dot jpg Oh, it's only main one dot jpg so let's send it to main one dot jpg the next one is uh, let's use jewelry and change the product in it to jewelry again another one is we have mobile and use the mobile one dot jpg and let's change the price to 400 and i want to change the price here the next one is shoes and change the product to choose one touch jpg and change the price 
price I'm using random price so it will seems to be a popular product so now I am going to remove the container and use the grid view and inside the grid view all right not inside grid view grid view dot builder and item count product list dot length then grid delegate silver grid delegate with fix cross axis count and which will have cross axis count value to 2 so we are using 2 column grid and item builder build context which is context and index which have integer type close it first then we will return single product and terminate it uh, let's create the single product class let's manage the alignment uh, uh, this single product class extends uh, state less we get I initialize the variable final product name final product image and final road price and close it I can use comma it is the semicolon uh, now create the constructor uh, single product which will have this dot product name this dot product image this dot product price so we haven't used the override method and I'm using override method here instead of returning null I am going to use padding I'm padding to constant is inset all uh, not for all only and the left value is 8 and the value is 8 also so use the child and card uh, which have elevation 6.0 then color is colors dot sign ascent and next child which is hero child and inside hero we get I'm going to use tag product name which have child that is material and inside material I am going to use another child that is in coil and on tab now we are going to use a function and leave it as it is blank for this moment we will code it later so after the 
in coil uh, sorry inside the in coil uh, let's use the child that is grid tile and use footer in the footer we are going to use a container and which have color color start white it okay the white it is not available color so let's change it to white 70 okay and use another child which will have list style and leading text is product name product name and we have style and style is text is style font weight is font weight dot bold so i think this two bracket is extra bracket and delete them oh, includes uh, one so title is text we get which will have the slash double dollar product product price and let's give it some style that is text style color color start green and font weight is font weight dot bold and font size is 60 all right so we have product name and product price uh, we have left the image so child child padding and the padding we get content padding that is constant is inset dot all and value is at zero and use child element image dot asset which is prod image and use fit box fit dot cover okay uh, we complete the override method here and everything seems fine uh, no brackets are missing so we have to uh, manage this class uh, let's work on the single product class so product name is product list index and the name product uh, price is product list index of price and product image is product list index of image uh, sorry image
it will return the product here all right we have completed the products and now let's call it to main the dart so i am going to copy this padding which is useful for us uh, so we are using the list below the horizontal list uh, copy it and paste below the horizontal list and let's send the uh, text of padding and uh, that is popular products and after the padding I am using another container which have height element uh, let's have a fixed size 400 and next child is products and we haven't uh, import the product so import proper product package and everything seems fine there is no error in our code here so let's uh, debug it and check it's everything fine or not so start debugging and wait for the app to come online the app is installing now uh, just need to wait for a few minutes to complete the process okay let's come online and there is some exception so let's check unable to load asset uh, okay we mistake the spelling i think so let's stop the debugging and go to products okay there is class one uh, i mistakenly type class only so let's start debugging again and i'm using visual studio code because android studio is too heavy to run and i already have android studio also in my pc but visual studio code is quite faster so i like it very much just wait for the app to come online and it's loading now all right the app is online now and we can see the popular product list here so everything is fine we have a, a nice interface for e-commerce app so that's all for today we'll meet in the next episode thank you guys have a nice day